How are you doing and how have you been? I'm Taz Astrical, this is Perkins and welcome back to 500% Randy Random Difficulty on the IC Challenge. I couldn't think what else to say, I had a little pause, I had to cut it, I, was emba I embarrassed myself there party people, but you're not here for my lazy commentary. Well, you're here for my bravado and sexy voice, but you are here to see how Perkins survives. Now, currently doing a quest where we get uh, Perkins to help, um, sorry, not Perkins. We get Jane to like come back. Jane's being um, chased by these. Pretty much the idea here is one, I didn't really check their clothing. Cloth Parker, nothing amazing. Bird skin, nothing amazing. Is to maybe get some clothes that we can stockpile. That would be nice. But the main priority here is to get all this human meat. So, Jane, I want to come here. So, Perkins has opened the door. And we're basically just going to use Jane to, like, fight these. It would be nice if we could get a bow and whatnot. Not that we have anything... We have one snow hair. We're going to have to keep checking the wildlife. And we're going to have a busy episode today. Now, a lot of it is going to be Perkins researching, which is going to be fine. We'll make sure we um, slam on the speed free. I'm hoping three traps. That kills all three of them. But if not, Jane will have to get handsy with them which is fine right that door's shut they are going to attack it a little oh no they're not normally they attack it if you say see you go through it i can't remember if any of these were nimble so anything we're gonna have to keep an eye on i think i have said it in a path series but if they're nimble they have a chance not to get hit by the traps bang we want one one death per trap that would be lovely I love Perkins is just chilling, maxing, relaxing while this is going on. Okay, the bow. So let's make sure they actually come in. Lovely. And then the last one is going to run away. Jane, what is your health? Movement is... Let's see if Jane can chase Vio. Are you getting hypothermia? Could have got the bow. I think three humans is going to be enough. Um... Yeah, in hindsight, perhaps, perhaps we need another door here in the future. Just for like, a, if this happens again, then Perkins could run out and kill. But I think three, let's see if Jane can chase. I mean, it doesn't really look like any great pace. So we won't worry about it, but that's something for the future. Then Perkins is going to say, hi, Jane, welcome to the colony. Bang, here's a mace to your face. No, Jane, you, you will withstand this. Wait, what's your clothes? Um, I suppose you can drop it all. At least then it won't be tainted. Oh no, a colonist needs treating. What's happened, Jane? Perkins will help you. Oh no, mace to your face. I mean, this is quite brutal when you think about it. Oh, I thought I was controlling Perkins. Come here, Perkins, so I can see what you're doing. There we go. And human meat is back on the menu. Right. When Perkins, you know. So, oh, let's go and speed free. There we go. Deaf Jane. Oh no, dearie dear. Okay, so... I did see that you party peoples did mention, obviously, about getting a butcher table. What is worth knowing? So a wooden butcher table, 95 wood. No wood on this map so far. We haven't had any traders that have been able to give us wood. To be fair, we haven't had the ability to trade with them. And a steel butcher table still needs 20 wood. So while this, obviously, a butcher table is better than a butcher spot... We don't actually have the capacity to do it yet. But don't worry, party people. I am on it. I'm thinking. I'm tinkering. I'm I'm like the meme with Charlie from Always Sunny. I've got pieces of paper all over the wall trying to like theory craft. We're going to be fine. And plus, we do have some veg um, vegetable meals. Vegetable meals. I sound like a loser sometimes. I'm trying to sound cool for the audience. So, let's get Perkins undrafted. Are you okay? You didn't get hurt, no. <laughs> After they just murdered per um, Jane. Let's just make sure Perkins is okay. What are you doing? Butchering. Nice, nice, nice. And another helpful comment, which I'm actually really interested in to see if this works. Now, 
these are deteriorating. A little birdie told me if I put, so let's just copy this dumping stockpile and I put it over water. So I assume you mean just shallow water because we can't walk in deep water. And I copy these settings over here. I've been told that then stuff deteriorates quicker. So these rotting snow has will deteriorate even um, quicker, which will be very, very interesting. Minus 49 outside. So, you know, a toasty bit of frostbite never hurt anyone. Well, you know, apart from all the people it did hurt, but that's okay. I'm wondering for the time being, because we've got all this tainted stuff to not allow it. Let's go on speed one. I'm terrible for keep pausing. It's because I'm a nervous Nelly. There's no way to do apparel. I don't want tainted stuff in this stockpile. Because we can't sell it or do much with it at the moment. Tainted stuff can go there and it can just deteriorate because we ain't got a massive stockpile to be able to do too much with it at the moment. So I think that's going to be best case. Now, this is probably the best situation by far that we found ourselves in for a long, long way. Really love that. We could also get another like kill box down there. A manhunter pack. Please don't be too many. Two hairs. Hmm. Do we need to go outside? No, we've got everything in here. To be fair, that's probably good timing. I'm just checking. So I take it that person that ran away did get out, didn't like fall over with hypothermia. It doesn't look like it. Okay. So Perkins is going to come shut this door. Then walk in. Lovely. Then I'm going to do another zone for Perkins. Oh, just to be fair, under attack. Because... Now we've got all that food, we don't actually need to go outside. So instead of fighting these bunny rabbits, because the only problem with Manhunted is... Now I don't know if it's 100%, but what I've seen more than not when I've played RimWorld is that you the meat just rots the minute you kill it. So there's no real need to actually go fight them. So lock your doors, stay in safe. The search for the Pain Plasma Sword. First, you need to find it. I mean, we'll leave it for the moment because we're not really in a great position. Um, we have got tainted clothing around here, which isn't too bad. We've got lots of food, which is great for Parkins. Research-wise, we're going down electricity. I did think about quickly jumping into um, complex clothing, to be honest. A mad snow hair. Okay. The mad snow hare is the one we can eat. And we did get a um, ship chunk that I'll just queue up to be deconstructed because it's no bother. Easy component, so we'd be silly to say no. Obviously, we just need Perkins now to go right down the research train. What are the quality of our clothing? Okay, so with complex clothing, could we get a better hat? Because remember, wearing human meat gives us a mood boost. Not that our mood is terrible at the moment. It's not terrible. It's actually really, really okay. But research is a big one. I'm wondering whether to jump back to complex clothing. Because then we can get human... Unlock Electra Tail Bench. Well, we can't do anything with that. I think we're going to go back to complex clothing. Like, just checking. Yeah, re the electric keeps its research, so we don't lose anything. Go back to complex clothing, because we'll be able to get that done quicker than that. So rather have a large period where we shoot for electric, complex clothing would give us something straight away. After that, I am debating whether to go into stone cutting, because the only thing I am, obviously, um, again, we can't build the stone cutter's table, can we? Change into steel. Doesn't show us what materials we need. I'm just concerned. I think you can make the stone cutter's table just out of steel. I'm not 100% sure on that though. And I, but otherwise... What, what, um, what stones do we have around? Sandstone. 
limestone. Okay. I'm just thinking rather than keep using steel to obviously build everything. And eventually we're going to have to build a base fit for a Perkins. Not fit for a king. Because we're breaking the boundaries of what women kind can achieve. I sound such a... Hmm. I took a sip of my coffee instead of um, continuing that sentence. A joke is not a joke if no one finds it a joke, unless one person does. So if ten people don't find it a joke, one person does. Does it mean it's a joke? Ooh. See, we not only focus on saving Perkins, we focus on, you know, you party people's mind, you know. Okay. It's very clear that not only Perkins is losing the plot, I'm losing the plot. <laughs> Luckily, Perkins has got lots more to do than me. Can we build this out of steel? So I think we need to build this out of steel just so then she's got added um, wreck things that she could do. Bit silly we didn't have that up um, originally, to be honest. But that's fine, that's fine. We're living, we're learning. Just seeing if there's anything fun we can make. A rare fun bros. See, look, be our pet. Yeah, pet. Never ever captured them on my car. Okay, that's just the mad snow hair. So we've gone wildlife. Okay, I think the other ones are leaving. So the ones that were manhunted, it looks like they are leaving the map. The rabbit that went mad, I believe, is the one outside. So I think that one, we're going to open the door and let it hit a trap. Because then that's an extra bit of meat. Now, what we don't want to do with this series is get too overconfident ever with the amount of food we have. Oh, the snow has gone to sleep. Okay. Bit awkward. We never want to get too overconfident because we don't know, especially being on Randy and how random he is. We don't know. There we go. Another little bit of food. So then we can go... Unrestrict Perkins, lovely, jubbly, great start to the episode, lots of food in the bank, Perkins is loving life, she told me, she told me, she tells me all the time. She sings sweet whispers of words of joy to me. There we go, she's even enjoying the new toy we have for her, that sounds, sounds om ominous to, at best. Um, I need to open some more of these, we do need some more steel for the traps. Okay, so you're deconstructing that. Does that give us steel as well? I think it does, doesn't it? 20 steel, not too shabby. That's the nice thing because of Perkins' clothing. So it's minus 48 degrees outside. We have found that it will hit minus like 60s. So we do need to be careful. But if we come in here, and I never find it straight away, minimal comfortable temperature is minus 61 degrees. So we're pretty good. Obviously, we don't want too much raggedy clothing. I think we're already getting ratty apparel. That's because of the hat. The flop hat. Which is another reason why I wanted to be able to make a cloth tunic. Jesus, I'm too dyslexic for my own good sometimes. That's not a joke. I am. I, I love the idea I say that. It's not a joke. I am dyslexic, guys. And you guys going, no, really, Tazastical? Like, you're a wordsmith and I appreciate it, guys. You always, you always, you know, Give me the pat on the bum that I need just to continue. Although, I have sort of thought that. To be fair, this would be an experiment. The tailor bench. Can we build it just out of steel? I'm sure we can. But then we have no electric. No, I'm sure there's one. I'm just second guessing myself. Yeah, a hand tailor bench doesn't need to be electric. The electric tailor bench does. Yeah, so we're good. We're good. We're good. I haven't embarrassed myself playing this game yet. The key word of that was, yep. Yeah. yeah, I love that we've got another door, though. Eventually. Eventually. I think we might have, like, one outer wall. Like, round the outside, round the outside. We've all trapped them. Might be a nice idea. Not really sure of, the, like, the design we're going. I'm not even sure we're going to stay in, like, this pocket up here, to be honest. Probably will. There's not too many natural barriers. Almost a shame there wasn't a geyser in here. But that's fine. I think that's the great thing about RimWorld, just watching your base grow over time. 
Especially with one colonist, you really do bond with. I'm sorry, we're hoping that this is going to deteriorate at a faster speed. Yes, yes. De uh, degenerating. So it's not only uh, degenerating because of unroofed and outdoors. It's also doing it for shallow water. Now we have forced weather for pay. So foggy rain. Okay, this is an interesting... Because we're going to get... So if we do foggy rain, she's going to get the negative that she's wet. I think her mood can easily withstand that. Extremely low expectations plus 30. Do you think that's the... No, that's the ideology. Do you reckon that's the rough living? Not quite sure. If that is, that is really quite powerful for this. So, I mean, they can't make the weather colder. I, I, <laughs> um, okay, so this one's out of question. 16J isn't worth our time. We don't care for beauty. Advanced component is interesting. However, Glitter World Medicine is more important. We've only got one colonist. Currently, we have no medicine. Meaning if Perkins gets hit by something really strong, like sleeping sickness or something, we're down and out. We ain't recovering from that. Where Glitter Medicine gives us a chance. Obviously, we won't be using it. Well, the thing is, we'll have to use it for any inf infections or anything like that. But I think that's a good saving grace. The advanced component is tempting just because obviously it's with the 50 silver as well will allow us to trade. Currently, we've only got nine silver. I'm not bragging. We've just got nine silver, you know. Yeah. And we get a little bit of goodwill, so. Accept that. Forced weather. Let's see if it gets too much colder outside. Minus 50. Obviously, we can hit. We can be fine and not get hypothermia up to minus 61. And at the end of the day, this needs to be a couple of episodes where we um, just concern ourselves with research. I say that as another quest comes. I wouldn't actually mind. I'm having a look at this stockpile. So another thing I'm going to do is click on this stockpile. Anything under... No, wrong one. Anything under 55% because it will give us the tattered when it gets below 50. I think we just get rid. Move it out here. Because we do need to make sure we have steel and food and stuff. Another rescue. Where are you? Is the question. Because if you're too far away, you know. If you're a couple of steps away, it's not too bad. God, this potato PC takes a while. There we go. Yeah, we've got two rescues, but they're too far. Like, it's not going to be worth our time. Because like we said, by the time we get there, we'll run out of food. And then we will run out of food, like, coming back. All right, let's get this on speed free. But I think clothing, just for easy bonuses we can get through wearing human meat because our i oh uh fumbro self-tamed um hello so what does that give us then what does that even mean so we can tell it to i don't know tr train it to do all the things yeah keep it in area one i've never had one of these before i've never even, i didn't even realize they could self-tame so what does it give us anything? God, this is the noob in me coming out. Oh god, there's another mouth to feed though. That's the problem. Carrying capacity, ride, riding speed, 160. Interesting. I'm trying to think of a reason why to keep it alive. It's got... Pre to be fair, it's got good... DPS, it's got good armor. I think we keep it. That could be Perkins' animal. Can you rename it? In the comments, can you rename this? In the comments, what is Perkins' first pet going to be called? Come on, party people. It won't be next episode because I normally record like two episodes um, like beside each other, but comment down below. What is Perkins Animal going to be called? 
We need a bed for it. We have to sleeping spot. At the bottom of Perkins' bed, that's going to look so weird. But we have an animal. Cool, cool, cool. And actually a really decent one. So it's going to help Perkins a lot. Especially... Oh, this is going to be cool. Perkins has a pet. Right, let's get some mining done. Because obviously one trap is not built yet. Because we haven't got enough uh, steel. We need 40 more. But I don't mind stockpiling a little bit of steel. Just so when the next one happens. The next attack happens. There we go. Perkins and the fun bro. Being bros. Being sisters. Wait. Paid combat, hang on. Oh, look, the sisters, yeah. Sisters are getting it done. Paid combat. Three drifters, two gunners. The problem is, as I look at the record, um, the rewards for this. Because that's five people. How long have we got to accept this? 5.3 days, okay. That would probably require us to put more traps in. Hmm. Don't know. How desperate are we? Food-wise, we have no meals. We went for all the meals. That's the only problem, obviously, with this. With our sister. So, I think let's... Let's prioritise getting a little bit of a bigger kill box. It's not the best design in the world, but it doesn't need to be too sexy. And let's see if we can build a bigger kill box in five days, we accept that, get all the human meat. Alright, steel trap. Perkins, what are you doing? You're just relaxing socially. Come on, Perkins. Okay, taint your clothing isn't going in here. Um, probably because I haven't accepted any of the clothes to come in here. Who would have thought you'd actually... So, apparel, but only tainted. Cool, let's see if that works. Oh, Perkins is just the proper... proper champ. I would rather have more traps than needed than not enough. We probably should have done this two by two, hurrah, hurrah, but I didn't really plan that well. I know it's not like me. Normally I am a planning smith, but, you know, things happen. Perkins and her sister. I'm waiting for the comments to be like, you should have just killed it. You need the meat. Don't, no, no, pie people. It's, it's for the narrative. It's the narrative, like. Okay, we've got a raid. So we've got Lisa, the crafter, Zach, Aguililia, three of them, all got guns. So we don't want to fight this. The first real, like, because I know people are like, see this and be like, oh, you no, you're amazing, Tazastical. This is too easy for you, Tazastical, because you're a god, Tazastical. I know, I can picture the comments. Don't worry, party people. Like, the first raid we get, this is all irrelevant. Um, sorry, the first, like, sappers that we get, which I didn't actually check if they will breach us. So the only thing you've got to remember with my other series that I was doing at this time, the transhumanist, like, breaches would happen, like, quite a lot. They have nerfed breaches that just breach through walls and stuff because they happened quite a lot. So I don't know how this is going to affect this playthrough with, obviously, them not being... In the same volumes as before. And I mean nearly every attack we were getting. It was like sappers, breaches, all that sort of stuff. More breaches than sappers. And I didn't even follow my rule by checking for nimble. Gonna have to be obviously. See look nimble. So I'm hoping they'll get the army loss penalty when Zack dies. Shouldn't be too bad. Because Perkins will be able to get into melee with. There we go. And we have two more people. Um, Do we chase down... Don't know if Perkins will be quick enough. What clothes have you got? You're not even getting hyperfermia. You do have a power claw. That sounds quite cool. 
Right, Perkins is going to run outside. I think we're just a bit too slow. I mean, we might be able to get a lucky shot. Okay, worth a try. Worth a try for a lucky shot. Because if that was a lucky shot and that would have killed, I would have then been like, I'm amazing at this game. Which I am, but not in that aspect. But more human meat. Which is good. We've actually got a bolt action rifle and a machine gun, which I will get Perkins to haul straight away. Because chances are we'll probably use... Um, probably use the machine gun more than not because then Perkins could stand here as they're coming through the traps the bolt action rifle is probably going to be for more for hunting purposes have we got anything no nothing on the map okay so that was a nice little raid so it's the good thing about being a cannibal you're not too bothered about attacks you are but you're not like you get more out of surviving it so what I mean by that, like, we're losing steel resources repairing the traps all the time, but Perkins gets a yummy snack every time, you see. Um, I am going to up priority important. A lot of tainted clothing I do want to get moved. Okay, so can't haul, so I always get these... Any hit points, any quality. I wonder if it's that. Let's try again. Yep, there we go. That's sorted up. So hopefully she'll start holding all the tainted stuff over here for it just to deteriorate and for us to forget about. We do need to queue up mining tasks though to make sure our traps get repaired. As soon as possible, especially with being on Randy Random, he can throw as many quick succession attacks at us as possible, I'm pretty sure. So we do need to take a little bit more care in that aspect. And I think next episode we might upgrade this, so we'll build a wall here. And then this wall here will just be like an open gap to allow Perkins 1 to run back safely. And to two, to be able to fix the traps without running over another trap, which I think we can all agree is a good shout. So you have a whole week, so I'm going to record this one. I'm recording the next one. Sorry to break the illusion of... And then if you're late to the series, let me know what you would have called the pet. You never know. Might name it. Like, might get another pet. You don't know. You don't know. Yeah, I wish you'd mine instead of coming away. This is all going to deteriorate. Right, I'm going to get Perkins. Don't go to sleep. I'm going to get you hauling. So then we can make room. Right, you're going to rest. Let's queue up a few of these. There must be some, like, bad quality. So, cannot haul. Right, what I'm going to do... Except apparel. But only stuff like that. Right, then this should work. There we go. I need this door to be shut, otherwise stuff will deteriorate. There we go. So now we know in the morning Perkins will haul everything to our... Dumping stockpile. I was trying to think of a really cool name for it. To our lagoon. Is that a lagoon? I don't think it is. I'm like the uncle at the barbecue that talks to, like, kids. The kids they know, just not just random kids. And I try and, like, be hip to the hop. And I'm like, hello, fellow kids. How do you do? Do you know what I mean? And then they, like, they run and scream and call their parents and say, mummy and daddy, why is this man in our garden enjoying our food? It's a barbecue. Just because I wasn't invited. Everyone's invited to a barbecue. Do you know what I mean? I do love a good barbecue. Perkins does as well, but that life has left her. She just sort of frowns when I talk about stuff like this. It's luxuries she couldn't even imagine. Perkins and her sister. That should have been um, the series title. 
The Sisters. I'm sure there's a uh, comment. There is a song there. You're all like, oh, thank God he doesn't know that song. I know you like my singing voice. Don't even question it. Perkins, it's like a lullaby to her when she goes to sleep. Me and Perkins are in this together. She tolerates me. I love her. There we go. Yeah, we can see at the top stuff is deteriorating. So that's actually brilliant comment. Didn't know that before. Very helpful. Right, Perkins is hauling everything. So we do need a day where we're just... Just taking stock of actually what we've got. Having a nice clean. This is spring cleaning in permanent winter in December. Work that out. Temperature outside still isn't crazy. Are we getting the wet modifier? Uh, spaceship has impacted nearby. Deconstruct. Yeah, it's all going well. We upgrade our kill box. And I think we can all agree. We've basically completed the game. This is easy. If you got to this part of the video, leave a like, leave a sub, leave a comment. And me and Perkins will catch you next time. Bye.